Hello everyone. Um, welcome to the risk management series. Uh, I'm Ali Qureshi. So in continuation uh, to the previous videos I've made, um, this video shall cover uh, what are the types of risk assessment. So um, basically there are three types of risk assessment. Uh, one is called quantitative risk assessment, the other is qualitative, and the third one is semi-quantitative. Now, uh, the quantitative risk assessment talks about risk which is calculated in monetary value. For instance, if there is a risk, uh, the, there should be a cost associated with it. For instance, uh, if the uh, information is disclosed, then there may be a risk of a regulatory penalty of $10,000, for example. So that is a quantitative me metric to actually calculate the risk. Uh, then it's qualitative. So what you do is that you define your risk uh, in a descriptive manner. Um, it's uh, not in numbers, not in values, but yeah, it is like descriptive, for instance, high risk. Um, uh, just taking the same example as quantitative risk assessment. Um, if this information is disclosed, it's a high risk that there would be a high amount of penalty charged by the regulatory body. So that is one of, uh, you can take the example of a qualitative risk assessment. Then uh, it's semi-quantitative risk assessment. It's, you know, the combination of both quantitative and qualitative. Now, um, I wouldn't say that we are also taking uh, the monetary value in semi-quantitative risk assessment. However, we, we do take numbers. Uh, for instance, we define high by uh, three. We define medium risk by two, and we define uh, low risk by one. And we calculate the risk within this metric with these values. Um, so uh, in the coming uh, lectures, we'll also see examples. And uh, when we're going to see examples, you'll be able to understand even more how these uh, you know, risk assessment uh, you know, uh, produce values. So let us first of all take an example how the matrix for the quantitative, qualitative, and semi-quantitative risk assessment look like. Now, first of all, um, this is the example of quantitative risk assessment. Now, here you can see that on the left side, we have likelihood, and on the top side, we have consequence, that is impact. Now, you can see here that, for instance, let's take an example uh, of uh, taking the uh, likelihood value of five, that is almost certain, and taking consequence as three. Uh, that be, that is moderate. Now, you see that there is mentioned uh, five thousand to a hundred thousand pounds fine. The risk, the total risk uh, of this particular, uh, you know, the total value, the value risk that we are obtaining from this risk value, is basically the range that will be the range within like five thousand pounds to a hundred thousand pounds. Now, if we will not mitigate this risk, we are going to penalize within this amount. This is how you calculate uh, in uh, quantitative terms the value. Second is the qualitative. Now here you can see on the left side we have you know the descriptive metric. Um, for instance here on the left side we see material risk, you can call it high risk, then it's significant risk, then it's moderate risk, and then what's acceptable. And we have defined it in a descriptive manner. Uh, for instance, just let, let us just read the moderate risk finding which uh, findings which are meaningful but potentially less harmful uh, and with lower probability of detrimental impact on Ikana USA. So this is an example which I took off from Google. Um, so you can see that all the risks are defined in a descriptive manner. Then comes semi-quantitative risk assessment. Uh, it's, it's not that hard but you can see that on the left side, we have defined some values, one, two, three, four, five, that is impact. And on the uh, bottom side, that is likelihood, we have also defined one, two, three, four, five. Now, when we calculate the risk value, if we decide that the impact is um, four and the likelihood is four, that becomes four into four, uh, 16. So our risk score will be 16. So there will be a defined matrix for this value as well. That what does 16 denotes? Um, and of course, it denotes that the risk value is high, as you can see it on the table as well. Um, 
So this is the quantitative risk assessment. We use these values. Please don't confuse it with the first matrix you saw. We saw that there was this one, two, three, four, five values there as well. But in quantitative risk assessment, we are completely dealing with monetary value. Um, and these other values are not, uh, does not hold any significance. So this is the types of risk assessment. So after watching this video, uh, I hope that you were able to distinguish between qualitative, quantitative, and semi-qualitative risk assessment. Um, uh, so if you like the lecture, please like and subscribe and wait for more lectures to come up in continuation. Thank you very much.